here's the one I bought. Let's just a quick look at the screen. It has a two year warranty on it. It was extremely easy to use. I spent about four hours yesterday playing with this thing, charging up that light, uh, lithium ion battery. And it worked flawlessly. I was checking on it about every 15 minutes. So that's what the actual test was conducted on. And you can see the Amazon price was about $20 more. Alright, that's it for the intro. Okay, I've got the uh, battery charger plugged in. Super simple to operate. I have the switch pulled all the way over for 20 amps at 12 volts. You hit your little indicator button here. I've got it on the LiPo 4. And I've already tried it and it did turn on and work. So I'm going to hook the cable back up and we're going to try it again. So here we go. It's reading voltage. We're going to hear the fan ramp up pretty soon. It's putting in as the amp's going up and the charging. You hear the fan getting louder as the amp's going, going up. Fourteen and a half. I watched several videos on this charger. And apparently it likes to hang out at around 16 amps, 15 and a half, so we'll see. That's 18.4. It's putting in 250 watts, 249 watts. clock is doing. I don't know if that's the uh, time left to charge the battery going on the voltage it's seeing. I don't know. So we'll let this run for a while. Let's see what happens. 17.8 amps so far. going through the cables possibly. And we're still showing 14 amps on the energy shunt, which is the power going into the battery. Alright, I'm going to let this run a while. <clears throat> and uh, I'll come back and see what it does. I'm going to keep an eye on it. So I'll be back when this gets uh, completed. First time using this charger. I've heard good things about them. We'll find out. Alright. I'll be back. Okay, I put my amp clamp on here and it's showing 16.1 amps. Battery charger is showing 15.3 and the shunt showing 14.2. So they are a little bit different, but this line loss calculation is involved. And I apologize, I didn't realize how loud that uh, fan was on that battery charger. It's pretty loud. But she's uh, showing 16 over here. There's going to be a variable with all these. They never match. 
All right, I'll be back. I just thought to throw the clamp on there while I was still out here. I'll let this run for a while. So, so far so good, it's doing its job. All right, more to come. Okay, it's roughly an hour and a half in. <clears throat> I didn't really do a timer. Got 37 amp hours on the Renogy. And the battery monitor, battery charger showing uh, 39.7. Nothing's overheating or getting warm. So, so far so good. Just going to have to keep an eye on it. I have no long, uh, idea how long this is going to take. So I don't know what the state of charge is. This little thing here is, doesn't really do anything. Just shows 13.6. Alright, I'll be back. I'll let this roll till it quits. Okay, it's getting interesting. Voltage is 14.4 uh, on their shunt, and I'm watching the amperage taper right off. It was 8 amps a moment ago, now it's 16, now it's 6.58. And the screen on the battery charger is also dropping down amps to 6. Fourteen point seven volts, 6.6 .6 amps there. 14.4 and 6.44 and dropping. So this is probably pretty close to full. And once again, this little thing up here never shows the same. Oh, it's at 14.4 now, it just changed. So that's got to be pretty close to full. Charge is tapering right off, so it's dropping. I don't expect this to go maybe another five or ten minutes. It's about three hours so far. You can see the amps just dropping. So the BMS is working, which is good. A little battery charger is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, it's down to six amps too. That one says 62 amp hours. I believe it said. And this one's saying 59. And that'll probably kick over to 60 here momentarily. See, we're down to 5. As long as this screen is blinking like that, the battery's charging. So it's tapering itself off. Alright, I'm going to give it a little bit longer. Hopefully this will come to an end here shortly. I'll be back. Okay, the battery just cut. dropping down 13.9, 13.8. This one is showing full. That one's still showing 14.4. Never went above that. It did hit 14.6 on this monitor. And now it's it's all done. So this uh, HTRC charger did a really nice job. And I didn't mention it before, but it also came with these uh, lugs. You can crimp on the battery uh, charging cables if you want to permanently attach it. Alright, so that concludes the test. And this thing worked great. Which I've seen many videos on this and everybody was happy with them. Except for a couple people. Alright, that's it. So much for the battery charger testing. The go amp hour battery is fully charged. The next thing on the list will be to charge and discharge this battery and see what kind of uh, life it provides. All right, that's it for the battery charger. This little guy worked out good. All right, that's the end of this video.